Good morning. Oh gosh, my nativity is flooded in light once again. I thought I had um, angled it enough so that it didn't glare at you. Um, I'll have to close the curtain again. Well, it is a beautiful day out there, very cold and frosty, but really beautiful. Um, so um, perhaps you'll get a chance to step outside into your garden or for a walk today. It's really beautiful. Well, it's New Year's Eve. Isn't that crazy? Um, last day of 2020. Wow. Uh, so good morning to those of you who are live with me at the moment. Um, morning, Celia. Morning, Dan and Phil. Morning, Mo. Uh, morning, Rose. Um, good to be with you. Morning to anyone who watches later or good day uh, to anyone who watches later. 
Oh, thanks, Mo. Yeah, I've got. I'm wearing Christmas all week this week, so I've got my my um. This is my favourite Christmas jumper, and actually, uh, this week. So we are looking at our comfort and joy booklets this week. So if you've got your comfort and joy booklet to hand, you can follow along um, with me this morning. We're obviously on New Year's Eve, which is day seven in this booklet on page 22. And today's carol is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So we're going to sing that in a little while, or you can just listen along if you're not. If it's a bit early for singing, you can just listen along at home. Uh, morning, Siobhan. So let's begin with our opening prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. So we're going to sing our carol for today, which is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. enjoyed singing along or listening along to um, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So I'm reading now from page 23 in the Comfort and Joy booklets. And uh, sorry, morning to Siobhan and Emma, lovely to have you with us. In our reading today, Mary's soul erupts into poetry as she looks to God her Saviour 
in preparation for the birth of Jesus. As we sit on the cusp of a new year, we meet God who turns our world's values upside down to reveal his light and love to all. So our reading for today is from Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Just before I read the reflection, I'm just reminded of uh, the talk that I gave on Sunday where I was talking about how um, Mary of the Magnificat, which is that reading we just read, she's passionate and full of energy and kind of just imagine her like up, you know, kind of uh, on her feet, declaring all this stuff. Um, and um, the contrast um, between that and how we meet her um, after she's given birth to Jesus in that reflective mood uh, where she's pondering um, these things in her heart. Um, but anyway, on to um, the reflection for today, uh, which is written by Jonathan Bryan. <clears throat> In Mary's poem and today's carol, we don't read much of comfort. Rather, we experience the palpable joy of worship, followed by the vision of God throwing the values of our broken world upside down, to reveal his revolutionary plans for his kingdom. This is not comfortable. But when we reflect on the past year, I doubt many of us have had a comfortable year riding the coronavirus storm. For God's comfort does not come from a lofty distant height, but from his light and life, breaking into our mess to demonstrate a better way. As we look back on a year where our world has turned upside down, we can decide again which values we are going to prioritise going forward into 2021. How can we lift up the lowly, fill the hungry and remember mercy? During lockdown, I regularly shared posts with the hashtag thankful not fearful. The poem of our lives needs to start from a place of thankfulness and of praise. So I'm going to leave a few minutes quiet and uh, do feel free to share anything you notice or uh, that um, you're thinking about um, as a result of the the reading and um, reflection.
So um, thank you to Celia and um, Siobhan who have uh, shared um, on the messaging. Uh, so um, kind of reflecting in a similar way, I think. So Celia is saying our values as a nation have certainly been turned upside down this year. Um, we now value carers, bin men, nurses, etc. Um, more than we did before. Yeah, I guess um, some of the more kind of what have been perceived as lowly roles um, have been um, kind of raised up this year, haven't they? Which is uh, quite um, an echo of um, what Mary says, lifted up the lowly. Uh, so in some ways, the, um, the key workers who might have been considered more lowly roles before have been lifted up this year. Uh, Sean saying, um, the last year has caused everybody to stop um, with their busy lives and many who are more fortunate have helped and given to people less fortunate. Um, and she thinks this has happened a lot more during the pandemic. Um, yeah, so there's been more of um, people helping the hungry um, this year um, than there have been previously, haven't there? And again, that's a a quote from the Magnificat. And um, Ray's saying this year, I think it's been a valuable lesson when we've realised what's more valuable to us, um, family and friends. Um, yeah, I think there's been uh, lots of things this year, haven't there? Um, how much they've maintained through the year, though, I'm not... Um, sure in terms of uh, like it really upsets me for example that uh, pay rises aren't coming through for um nurses and um some of the decisions that are being made at the moment and the pressure on the nhs and so on um so i guess i i sort of feel it's some things have been good but some things um haven't been quite as they <laughs> as they should be um in terms of how we treat our our key workers as well um I thought it was interesting how in the um, reflection, um, Jonathan says, um, he asks, uh, which values are we going to prioritise going forward in 2021? How can we lift up the lowly, fill the hungry and remember mercy? Um, so he's picked out um, some of the phrases from the Magnificat, um, but he hasn't picked out the ones that are more challenging um, so um, he hasn't picked out how will we send the rich away empty? Um, how will we um, scatter the proud? How will we bring down the powerful from their thrones? Um, which I thought was interesting because if we're going to take on the values of the Magnificat, they're not just about um, lifting up the lowly and um, filling the hunger with good things, but they're also about challenging power um and wealth as well aren't they um and that does make the kingdom values truly revolutionary which is the word that he uh, uses in the first paragraph um and i suppose that made me think about um being lionesses um because uh you know that helps us think doesn't it about that call to um kind of stand up and roar um, and um, do something about those things that are unjust um, in our world, not just um, looking after the victims, if you like, of injustice, uh, such as feeding people via food bank, but actually trying to address some of the injustices um, that lead to that later on. Uh, so, um, yeah, plenty of food for thought in the Magnificat, isn't there, and what Mary says and how... Um, that might be worked out in our lives. I think the hashtag that he uses, thankful, not fearful, um, is interesting, isn't it? Thankful, not fearful. Um, I think one of the challenges of this year is been has been with our fear and anxiety, hasn't it? Um, and of course, in the news, um, 
we heard yesterday that we're moving to tier four in Swindon um, and that the schools, secondary schools are delayed in going back. The number of cases and the number of deaths was really high yesterday. And uh, that is uh, something that makes us naturally fearful. Um, and these are real things, aren't they? Um, but we can choose to um, take those fears to God um, and then uh, kind of determine our hearts to um, and our minds onto those things which we're thankful for. Um, and it being the last um, day of this year, uh, it's a good time, isn't it, to reflect on um, how we've been blessed in this year of 2020, although it's been really a hard year. Um, it's good to think about how we have been blessed in uh, 2020. Uh, so Diane just uh, sharing, 2020 has shown me that even though we are all in this pandemic, there are still people willing to help others and reassuring those that everything will be okay as God has this and he's giving us the rest we need and to get to know him more. Thank you, Diane. That's a lovely um, reflection to end this section on, I think. Thank you for that. So we'll do the uh, words that we're using for meditation um, in just a moment, um, but do begin to share any prayer requests that you have um, so that we can pray them together shortly. So we say together, God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill us with joy and peace. And may the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the god bearer Give us grace to share the good news of Christ. Amen. So we're going to, um, first of all, pray the prayer on the bottom of page 24. Lord of light and life, as we prepare for a new year, fill our hearts with praise and hope, as we, with you and one another, seek to bring your kingdom to our world. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the ways in which we have seen um, society, I suppose, live more in line with your values in this last year. Um, we thank you for those times when um, those who are perhaps taking the more lowly roles in society have been lifted up and um, recognised for how valuable and important what they do is. And we, we thank you. Um, for people in those roles. We thank you for nurses and uh, carers and shop workers and delivery people and um, re uh, refuse and recycling uh, workers, lorry drivers. Um, there's probably lots that I've missed in that list, but Lord, we thank you for all um, these people who have um, faithfully continued these roles this year. And Lord, we do long um, for our appreciation of them to continue and for them to be given, um, for, for their value to be reflected in their, in what they earn, um, the respect they're given, the way they're treated in their workplaces. But we do thank you uh, for the way that um, they have, for the times they've been lifted up in this year. Jesus is shared, lives are changed. Lord, we thank you um, for all those who have worked um, to ensure or to try to ensure that people do not go hungry 
um, this year. Lord, we thank you for things like the um, school vouchers continuing through uh, school holidays for Marcus Rashford and his um, efforts um, to ensure that is the case. We thank you for all those working for Food Bank and um, for all the other organisations. I know Swin and Scrap Store were giving out food boxes. Um, the Patton Church um, helped us by giving boxes of hope to folk in our uh, communities that the schools um, notified them of. Um, we thank So we just thank you, Lord, those we haven't named as well, um, for those who have helped um, to try to ensure no one goes hungry this year. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. Yeah, Lord, we thank you, um, as Ros says, for all uh, medical staff and research staff who've been working on the vaccine this year. Um, I imagine there's kind of a, a whole range of roles in those jobs and in, in those places. So we thank you, not just for the scientists, but for the administrators, you know, those who have cleaned. We thank you for cleaners this year, uh, the premises and kept um, the researchers safe while they are working. We thank you for all those who staff the doctor's surgeries, um, for the doctors and, as well um, this year. And we pray for the quick and safe rollout of the vaccines. We thank you for the Oxford um, I think it's AstraZeneca vaccine that was approved yesterday. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. Lord, we um, we kind of see in, in Mary's declaration that it's not just about um, helping those who are struggling, but um, about challenging um, the system itself in, in terms of um, those, uh, those who are powerful and those who are rich. Um, those things are turned upside down in your kingdom too. Um, and so, Lord, we, we do pray um, that uh, we would want to move to more fair and just societies as we come out of the pandemic fair and just not for all people but for the planet as well and we know that this would require a really um almost like seismic change in the way that we structure our um economies um so lord we just pray into that and we we pray for ourselves that in this coming year you would help us to know um what we can do um, here in our own community um, to work for those values of your kingdom for justice uh, for all. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. <clears throat> we pray for all who are unwell um, today. Um, in body, mind or spirit. Um, Lord, we pray for um, those who are in hospital and those who are at home or in care homes. Lord, we pray um, for um, that they would receive their, all the care that they need from health uh, care practitioners. Um, and, and Lord, we just pray for your, your healing, uh, your comfort and your hope for all those who are unwell at this time. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. We pray for all those who have lost loved ones. Lord, our, our hearts break for how many people are dying at the moment and so many um, bereaved families and friends left behind. Um, Lord, we pray um, for all those who've lost loved ones um, in this year. Um, but also those who are grieving the loss of loved ones um, from, from any time, Lord. And we know that Christmas is a particularly different, difficult time um, when we miss those who are now in your, your heavenly care. Lord, we continue to pray for Sue after um, her husband's funeral yesterday and um, for their family and friends. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for uh, the times and seasons which you have ordained in creation. 
uh, we thank you that the days are um, getting slightly longer now, Lord, and the hope of spring um, is um, forthcoming in creation. The shoots of the spring bulbs are coming uh, on um, in our gardens and in the countryside. And Lord, as we um, turn towards 2021, we we long for that hope um, to be um, all around us. We thank you for the hope of the vaccines um, for 2021 and that sense that 2021 will be brighter than 2020. If we can just hold on and be careful in these next months, Lord. Um, so we pray, um, as Siobhan says, that 2021 is a better year for everyone and that people can be reunited. We long to um, kind of, for many of us, fling our arms around each other and um, have those hugs and um, kisses that we have missed, um, to be able to sing together um, and just to, just to enjoy being physically present with each other without the anxiety um, of um, 2020. But Lord, we, we know and trust that you are with us in the waiting, that you bring us your light and your hope um, through the power of your Holy Spirit and through each other. So we thank you for your presence with us, amongst us and for each other. Jesus is shared. Lives are changed. So we're um, coming towards the end of morning prayer today. Um, so we'll say the final blessing in a moment. Um, just a reminder, there's uh, no physical gatherings in the church this week as we take our usual break between Christmas and the new year. Um, we'll be letting you know um, in the next couple of days what the impact of moving to tier four is on our churches. Um, so please do pray for um, our myself and the, uh, our church wardens and other leaders in the church um, as we uh, navigate these um, decisions. Uh, but uh, today being New Year's Eve, we do have our Zoom um, games night uh, starting at eight o'clock. Um, the uh, Zoom information will be in the Games Night Messenger group. If you're not in that group and would like to come along tonight, do let us know and we will send you the Zoom information. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you um, enjoy this last day of 2020. Uh, know God's love for you and our love for you. And uh, have a blessed day. And I will see you back um, at Morning Prayer tomorrow 9.30 on the first day of 2021. So let's join together in the final blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be ours this Christmas time. Amen.